question. I just want to start with some general comments. Yeah, well, obviously, uh, you know, anytime you win a game, it's, it's a feel-good moment. But uh, you know, just a lot of good things happen tonight. You know, you never know what's going to happen when you don't get a chance to practice much at all. And you know, to, to you know, move the puck the way we did, to compete the way we did, to take advantage of most of our opportunities, uh, certainly a great feeling. First line was really clicking tonight. What just worked for what worked for them? Well, you know, we had seen flashes of it in the, you know, the little that we've been able to practice, and you know, they just, you know, Ati just, you know, his skill set is elite, and you know, when Jack gets in the puck in those areas, it's it's going to go in. And he scored two goals tonight that not many guys in our league or in the country could score. And you know, you know, Erod, I know maybe didn't show up much on the score sheet, but you know. It's too bad because he's he works hard, he's smart, he competes, and uh, you know he'll have his turn to get four or five points on the night. You talked about how lack of depth was something you really wanted to work on, especially at the last season. How encouraging you wanted to sort of see things from all all the lines that are contributing tonight? Yeah, it's always good. You know, you don't want to be a you know one trick pony. You know, you want to be able to you know, roll lines out there and allow guys rest, be able to perform to the best of their abilities. And you know, I thought that's what we did tonight. We've got depth up front. You know, we're a little bit banged up on the blue line. We're even a little bit banged up up front. But you know, it, uh, it's one game. You don't want to get too excited. But it's the only game we've played, and the only thing we can judge ourselves on. And there were a lot of good things that we did tonight. But we certainly know we have to be a lot better in certain areas. It really seemed like the freshman defenseman you know, helped you in the puck possession game. Something you struggled with last year. Did you feel they kind of you know, marked up as well? You that? Yeah, without question. I mean, I thought all of the out of our zone clean on numerous occasions. They showed great poise. You know, to me, you know, it wasn't our D zone coverage that was the issue last year. It was the fact that we had trouble breaking it out of the zone, which allowed us, you know, which forced us to defend an awful lot. So um, I just thought that uh, that certainly allowed us to generate offense on the initial rush and establish the offensive zone and create offense. Adi, can you talk about, you know, what I could Um, it's almost a dream come true. I kind of spoke about three guys too. It's just, I feel like I just need to find myself open and he will get me the puck. It's really easy playing with both of those guys. Anything else? Adi, can you talk about the transition going from defense to forward? I know you played some forward over in Europe. Yeah, um, I played forward when I was a little kid, but that seven, eight years I've been a team. Um, it's, of course, a huge change. I need some time to get used to it, but Today was pretty promising, and I really look forward to next um, Friday's game. Yeah. Haven't played uh, forward in a while. What was it like to be on the first line tonight? It was pretty cool. Like I said, um, Rodriguez, Ico, two amazing guys. It's so easy to play with them. Um, we just, I think we still need to practice more. We can be even better than what we were today. And yeah, I really look forward to next Friday's game. It's a dream come to. Um, a dream come true to play with Ike and Rodriguez. So I'm really looking forward to it. Coach, so, I need so many, uh, so many freshmen. How important was tonight's game for you know you start off with a league game and stuff? Right? Well, it's important to play a game before Friday night. It's always important to win it. I wanted to win it, but certainly you know we were you know we were trying some different lines combinations. But we certainly didn't mess with that line after the start they got off too. So you know it was. Important to get those guys out there, you know, get the nerves out, and, you know, get a game out of the way, especially here at Aganis, and you know, chopping at the bit to get up against another team. I mean, our guys have been on there since the 15th of September, going against each other. So it was nice to, you know, see another opponent. Any word on Mike Moran? Uh, he is being evaluated. Obviously, took a big hit, so we'll know a lot more. Now. Used all three goalies. What did you take out of their performances today? Uh, I took out of the performance that we've got three good ones, which I already knew. I mean, there was some, you know, there was a lot of flurries, but there was some zone time and some, you know, sometimes they had to step. You know, OC made some big saves. I thought it was three nothing. You know, three one. All of a sudden, the game could change. So, you know, tough situation for Mosh to come in. He comes in in the middle of the second period. And you know, they got power play. So, and then you know, the, the 
goal was a fluky one, unfortunately, for Kuve. <laughs> you know, you're, you're a freshman, you get in there, and you know, we bat it in the air, and it goes off into the net. So, you know, but I, I like our goaltending situation. Anything else? Thanks, guys.